Hey, what's up you guys? I'm here from Extreme Peace Reviews. Well, today in this video, I will be showing you how to fix some wires using some solder. So stay tuned. All right, so I do have my uh, laptop charger wire. And as you can see right here, it is messed up. Zoom in right there. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to fix that. All right. All right, so a couple of things we're going to need uh, in order to make this work. Uh, we're going to need a crimping tool. Uh, we don't really need this, but I just have it. Uh, we need some solder. I have three different types of solder. This is extremely thin. Uh, this is, uh, I actually don't know because, you know, the label's messed up. But let's see if I could... Yeah, it's extremely thin. All right, uh, we have some 0 0.63 in diameter. All right, and we have some 0 0.062 in diameter. We also have your flex, all right, which you're gonna need, and we also have our soldering iron right here. All right, I picked this up at Radio Shack. Uh, the cool thing about this is that you could change the wattage. So uh, I'm gonna be using 20 watts uh, for this. All right, 20 watts. And that's a cool thing you could buy because you know you could use different wattages for different things. And we might need some help from these little arms right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first thing we need to go ahead and do is cut this wire. Uh, so we're going to be using the crimping, our crimping tool to cut it on both sides. Um, Alright, so we have two sides, okay. We now have two wires. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is taking away the outermost layer of plastic or insulation um, make sure you get enough you know because we're going to heat shrink this so we get this right. and do the same to the other side I would be doing some measurements uh, but for the sake of time uh, of this video I am not going to be measuring so I'm just eyeing it on it looks about right right so pretty much uh the outer well you know you might not have the same luck as me but uh the outer layer is the ground and there's only one cable on the inside which is the one that's sending you know the positive charge so we're just going to be you know just a little bit all right you can see right there and do the same to the other side. Just move the outer layer of. All right. All right, and there we have it. Now I forgot to mention that we might be needing some heat shrink tubing. All right. So as you can see, I picked up, um, you know, this heat shrink uh, tubing kit, which comes with various sizes, uh, 154 pieces, which is good. You get uh, 1 16th, 3 32th, 1 8th, uh, 3 16th, 1 4th, and 3 8 Alright, so we're going to be using the 3 16th for the outermost layer, uh, you know, to make it, to make sure that you get, you know, a nice clean uh, cable. And we're going to be using the uh, 3 32th. Alright for the innermost layer which is going to be covering the pot well the positive charge basically all right so we're going to close this up and uh, first of all I'd like to just go ahead and uh, put the biggest piece in well around the uh, cable all right that way we don't have to struggle with it later and um, first off let me move all this all right the first thing I like to do is to make sure that uh, I twist all the cables 
together before I solder them. Alright. Do that to the other side or the other cable as well. Alright. Alright, so now what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and tin the soldering iron. So now that my soldering iron is, uh, you know, nice and hot, uh, I'd like to go ahead and get the, the actual solder and just, you know, go ahead and tin it a little bit. Right? It's more than enough. Alright, and then just uh, put it on, put any excess off on the sponge, provided with the little hands. So now we're going to be using the small hands, our handy helpers right here. All right. All right. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is spread a little bit of solder on both wires before we uh, solder them together. Uh, so pretty much just heat up the wire a little bit first, and just put some solder all over that. Just wait for it to heat up. Should be hot enough right now. All right, go ahead and do that to both sides, both wires actually. All right, so now that I have soldered both sides of the wire, let me go ahead and take it off the little arms I have. By the way, you can buy this uh, arm at Radio Shack, which is where I bought it. All right, so as you can see, uh, the heat shrink fits just about on the uh, actual wire. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back on the little helping hand. All right, so now as you can see, I set up the arm so both are touching, and pretty much since we already put a little bit of solder on it, we're gonna let that heat up first. All right, and melt the solder on both wires, and as we let it go, we notice that these wires are soldered. See, I'm moving them. All right, um, but you know. Just in case you didn't do that extra step that I did, pretty much all you do is uh, heat the wire up from the bottom. All right. Just put it on the bottom of the wire and just put lay some solder on it. And that's it. All right, so as you can see, I am going to be doing the same to the ground wires, uh, you know, because we want to make sure these do not uh, get loose as well or else what's the point of this alright so pretty much heat up the wires same steps uh, this might look a little bigger because the wire this wire at least is thicker than the other wire pretty much just run it should be smooth so just Go ahead and solder that wire. All right, I pretty much used a little bit too much, but that's okay. I'll just use a little bit less on this side, as you can see. All right, and uh, I know that these wires were wrapped around the positive wire, but of course we don't. We want to make sure that these wires uh, do not um, do not get loose. So as you can see right there, these wires are put together. Let me move the hands a little bit. Sorry about that. Alright, so there we go. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of uh, solder on it to make sure these things do not get loose. Oop, hold on, let me adjust the wire because it's not close enough alright pretty much there you go this whole wire is soldered alright so let me take it off the arms as you can see right there, hold on. Everything is soldered. Look, see that? Now you can press down. See? There you go. Now this wire is ready for heat shrinking. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that um, it kind of melted the heat shrink on the positive wire, so I used a little bit of electrical tape. So now, um, what you do is you get, uh, let me move this to the side, all of this to the side, Oop, let me focus this up. Uh, I'm going to get my heat shrink tubing that I previously put on and force it onto the entire wire and sorry about that that is my droid alright so as you can see we have our heat shrink tubing right here and it has covered up the entire cable that we just soldered and uh, pretty much I use a lighter that's one thing I didn't mention we might need a lighter uh, to pretty much let me lift this a little bit just um, you know just apply some heat to the heat shrink now this is a uh, very, uh, you know, most people like to use a, a little bit of, um, what are they called, uh, heat guns. Uh, I do not have one because I'm not sure why I don't have one, but uh, this works fine for me. Uh, make sure that the fire does not touch or else it might actually melt off a little bit. And if it does, uh, you know, just go like this a little bit, maybe. That's the only way you'll get it to touch. I mean, you should touch. That's the only way you should touch it you know really quickly or else you're going to be left with a horrible smell and uh, you know a very crappy looking wire so this is still hot uh, so I'm just going to let go from the arms All right, and there you have it you know there's no that's pretty much it